I, I guess the question is, is a short sale a bad thing? I hope you, you can wrap that up in about three minutes because we're running out of show. Again, this is the fastest 30 minutes on TV, so I'm going to turn it over to you. A, is short, a short sale, sale a is thing? never a bad thing. Ooh. Okay? It, it's, it's just not. Never. It is, it's it never, and I, I mean never. <laughs> It's never a bad thing because you are trying to cut your losses. You are trying to proactively step in there and say, you know what, we can't afford this property. It's not working for us anymore. So what can be done? Okay, The banks are not going to do anything. It's going to take them forever to get the foreclosure finished, Correct. get title back to the property. And so you go in and you say, you know what, I'll list my property. Now here's where it could be a bad thing. Um, I see the back end of this. When you have someone who is helping you through a short sale transaction and they don't understand certain concepts and they're not looking out to protect you. Remember, mortgage and note. You have to make sure both of them are taken care of. Correct. And so if those are not addressed, that's where you run into an issue where a short sale could be a bad thing. I think in the previous show we had talked about deficiency judgments a little yeah, bit. Little and bit. Um, I see the back end, the damage that has been done when we have people who are going through short sales and there are people helping them who do not fully understand what we're talking about here today, what we've talked about in the past. But my opinion is a short sale is never a bad thing. I think that the banks welcome any assistance that the homeowner can give them. You're bringing a buyer, you're bringing them money especially when you can't afford to keep up with your mortgage. Well, I think the banks have to look at it from a, uh, a practicality standpoint, too, and saying, hey, I'm not taking ownership of this property back and all the liability that goes with the ownership. And the carrying costs and everything. The carrying else. costs and going with it. And mm -hmm. especially in today's market where houses are sitting out there, they could develop a mold problem. They could sure. develop, you know, people are stealing air conditioners and whatever off the side. So I, and from that perspective, I think the banks are kind of, they would be crazy not to take the, to really look Take at a short sale it, right. and say, look, this buyer is bringing me this property. We're not going to get the money out of them anyhow. Right. I mean, I've seen a lot of people in my office for bankruptcy who said, you know, we, 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 we tried working with them for months and months and months, yeah. and it, it just got to the point of being ridiculous. We brought them buyers. We brought them offers. We brought them everything, and they're still jerking our chain, mm -hmm. and now we have no other choice but to walk away from this property and say, here, take it back. So, I mean, from that perspective, you, you, you consumers are really trying to do the right thing. Yes, they are. And they're hitting a wall at everywhere they turn. And, w you know, what but, we're trying to do know is what? give them options. That's the benefit of coming to our law firm yeah. is because not only do you have myself who can try to fight with the banks, but then we also have the litigation department. So we right. have two methods right. to try to hit the banks to get an answer from and them. The, the best part about it is our firm I, provides a little bit of leverage, too, because, you know, we always have the option of saying to our clients, hey, bankruptcy may be a good option for you. Right. Banks don't like to hear that. That means we're throwing it right back in their plate and saying, you know what? Take it. It's yours. Yeah. 